What if the invisible shield that protects us from deadly space radiation suddenly collapsed? Scientists believe Earth's magnetic field is already weakening, and the next great magnetic shift may happen sooner than you think. Backhand index pointing right stay with me till the end, because what I'm about to reveal will change the way you see our planet forever. The hidden force around us. Most of us go through life never realizing that Earth carries a silent guardian, an invisible shield that stretches far beyond the sky above our heads. This shield, known as the magnetic field, is constantly at work, deflecting dangerous solar storms, blocking deadly cosmic rays, and keeping radiation from tearing through our atmosphere. It is no exaggeration to say that without this invisible armor, the Earth as we know it could not exist. Imagine, just for a moment, what our planet would look like without it. The skis would be stripped of their protective layer, leaving the surface vulnerable to the full force of space. Over time, the oceans could evaporate, the atmosphere could thin, and our once blue and vibrant world could resemble Mars, dry, barren, and lifeless. This is the power of the magnetic field, a force we cannot see, touch, or hear, yet one that keeps us alive every single day. But here's the part that few people ever stop to consider. This shield is not permanent. It is not a fixed, unchanging force. Deep inside Earth's core, molten iron flows and churns like a restless ocean. This movement generates the magnetic field, but it also means the field is constantly shifting. And history tells us something astonishing. Earth's poles have flipped before. Yes, North became South and South became North. Complete reversals have happened hundreds of times over the planet's history. These weren't quick events. They unfolded over thousands of years. But for humanity, the idea that the very compass of our world could spin upside down is unsettling. Because if it has happened before, it can, and will, happen again. Scientists studying rocks, ice cores, and sediments have traced these shifts through time. Each one left a signature etched into the magnetic minerals of Earth's crust, a permanent reminder of how unstable our shield can be. And as modern instruments track today's field, researchers are seeing troubling signs. It's weakening, drifting, and behaving in ways that suggest another reversal could be closer than we think. Backhand index pointing right transition. So the real question is, when? Signs of a weakening field. Over the last 150 years, something unusual has been happening, something most of us would never notice in our daily lives. Earth's magnetic field, the invisible armor that shields our planet, has been growing weaker. Scientists estimate it has dropped by nearly 10% in strength, and while that number may not sound dramatic in planetary terms, it is deeply concerning. A weakening field means more solar radiation slipping through, more vulnerability to cosmic energy, and most importantly, a possible signal that our planet is preparing for a magnetic shift. But the real mystery lies in a place thousands of miles away, hovering above South America and the Southern Atlantic Ocean. Here, satellites passing overhead experience something strange. Their instruments glitch, their systems shut down, and sometimes their electronics are permanently fried. This bizarre region has been given a name, the South Atlantic Anomaly. To scientists, it is both a warning and a puzzle. Imagine Earth's magnetic shield as a blanket wrapped around the globe. In most places, it is thick and strong. But over the South Atlantic Anomaly, it's thin and tattered, almost like a hole has been punched through. Radiation from space slips inside more easily here, threatening not only satellites but also astronauts who pass through the region aboard spacecraft. What makes this anomaly even more unsettling is its size. It's mass as if the Earth is sending us signals, subtle but undeniable, that change is on the horizon. Scientists map the anomaly with satellites and study how it evolves, and each new finding points to the same conclusion. The magnetic field is behaving exactly as it has in the past, just before a pole flip. Backhand index pointing right transition, but how soon could this happen? Lessons from the past. By studying ancient rocks, lava flows, and deep layers of sediment, 
scientists have been able to peer into the magnetic history of our planet. You see, when molten rock cools, tiny crystals of iron within it lock into place, pointing toward the direction of Earth's magnetic field at that exact moment in time. It's like nature's own recording device, an invisible journal etched into stone. What these records reveal is nothing short of astonishing. Earth's magnetic poles have not always been fixed in place. In fact, they have flipped, completely reversed, hundreds of times throughout our planet's history. North became south, and south became north, with the magnetic compass essentially spinning upside down. The last full reversal took place around 780,000 years ago, during a period called the Brunnes, Matayama Reversal. To put that into perspective, that's long before modern humans even walked the Earth. But here, where things get even stranger, scientists have found signs of rapid, chaotic movements in the field much more recently. About 40,000 years ago, during what's known as the Lashemp's excursion, the poles shifted dramatically for a brief period before snapping back to their original positions. For a few thousand years, Earth's magnetic shield weakened drastically, exposing the planet to higher levels of radiation. This discovery sent a shockwave through the scientific community. Why? Because it proved that magnetic flips don't always happen slowly over millions of years. Sometimes, they lurch forward quickly with dramatic consequences, and if it happened once, it could happen again. The rocks are clear. The magnetic field is not a permanent fixture. It's restless, unstable, and constantly evolving. For us, that means only one thing. The next reversal is not a matter of if, but when. Scientists may not know the exact date or decade it will occur, but all evidence points to the fact that Earth is overdue for a change. And when it does happen, the effects won't just be locked away in the pages of geological history. They will be felt by every living thing on the planet today. Backhand index pointing right transition. And when it does happen, life on Earth will feel the consequences. What happens during a shift? Imagine waking up one morning and realizing that the compass in your phone is lying to you. North isn't north anymore. It points somewhere else entirely. For travelers, pilots, and explorers, navigation would suddenly become unreliable. Airports, which rely on precise magnetic data to align their runways, would face chaos. Entire flight paths would need to be recalculated, forcing airports around the globe to shut down temporarily just to adjust to the new reality. But that's just the beginning. Above our heads, satellites orbit silently, guiding GPS, weather forecasting, and global communications. During a magnetic reversal, Earth's protective shield could weaken, allowing bursts of solar and cosmic radiation to interfere directly with those satellites. The result? GPS outages, failing internet connections, and disruptions to global banking and stock exchanges. Imagine trying to live in a world where every piece of technology you depend on flickers unpredictably. Down on the ground, the threat is even more chilling. Our modern power grids, already vulnerable to solar storms, could be overwhelmed by radiation surges sneaking through the weakened magnetic field. Entire regions could experience blackouts, leaving millions without power for days or even weeks. In a society where electricity is the backbone of survival, this would be nothing short of catastrophic. And yet, amidst the danger, there would be strange beauty. The weakening shield would allow auroras, those ghostly curtains of green, red, and purple light, to spill across the skis in places that rarely, if ever, see them. Imagine walking through the streets of New York or Paris and looking up to see shimmering northern lights dancing above skyscrapers. For many, it would feel like living in a dream. For scientists, though, it would be a reminder of just how exposed we had become. Because the truth is clear, while the skis might dazzle us, our technology and infrastructure would suffer. A magnetic flip isn't just a curiosity of nature, it's a potential disruptor of modern civilization. Backhand index pointing right transition. So, are we living on borrowed time? When will it happen? Here, where the suspense builds. 
Scientists studying Earth's magnetic field agree on one thing. It's changing faster than at almost any point in recorded history. Some argue that the weakening we've observed is like a ticking clock, a slow but steady countdown to the next great magnetic reversal. Their estimates stretch out thousands of years, suggesting we still have time to prepare. But others look at the rapid shifts happening right now and wonder if the timetable is far shorter, perhaps just a few centuries, or even sooner. And here's what makes it even more unsettling. No one can give a precise date. The truth is wrapped in mystery buried deep within Earth's liquid outer core. Down there, molten iron churns and swirls like a colossal ocean of fire, generating the invisible shield we depend on. But when those flows change, when turbulence rises in that fiery sea, the entire magnetic field above us begins to shift. And once it starts, it doesn't stop easily. One of the most startling clues is the movement of the magnetic North Pole itself. For centuries, it wandered slowly, drifting across northern Canada at a leisurely pace. But now, it's racing towards Siberia at nearly 40 kilometers per year. That's faster than most of us could walk in an hour. Imagine an invisible point at the top of the world, sliding, accelerating, as if tugged by forces we can't fully explain. Something clearly is stirring beneath our feet. For scientists, it's both thrilling and terrifying. Each new satellite measurement and rock sample brings us closer to understanding the patterns of Earth's magnetic past, but it also highlights how fragile the present really is. The poles have flipped hundreds of times before, and life endured, but never has the reversal threatened a civilization so completely dependent on technology. And that's where the tension lies. We are left with two truths. It will happen, but no one knows when. It could unfold slowly over millennia or rush upon us in ways we are not ready for. Backhand index pointing right transition. And this mystery leads us to the ultimate question. What does it mean for us? Stephen Hawking once said that humanity must always look up, but also protect what lies beneath our feet. Those words echo louder than ever when we think about Earth's magnetic field and the possibility of its next great shift. A reversal of the poles wouldn't mean instant destruction. It's not a doomsday scenario where the ground splits apart or the oceans suddenly rise. Instead, it would be something more subtle, more complex, a test of survival not just for our species, but for the civilization we've built. Our ancestors lived through past magnetic flips, but they did so without power grids, satellites, or airplanes. For them, the changes in Earth's invisible shield passed largely unnoticed. Their world was simpler, less dependent on fragile technology. For us, it's a completely different story. Every piece of our daily lives, GPS on our phones, planes flying across continents, the satellites guiding our communication, even the stability of our power supply, depends on the steady guidance of Earth's magnetic field. Now imagine that field beginning to weaken dramatically. Satellites would become vulnerable to cosmic radiation, glitching or failing in orbit. Power grids could collapse under the surges triggered by solar storms slipping through the cracks in our weakened shield. Navigation systems we take for granted, planes, ships, even smartphones, could turn unreliable overnight. Entire industries, from banking to healthcare, depend on signals bouncing between satellites and Earth. A magnetic shift wouldn't erase humanity, but it would disrupt the very fabric of our modern life. And perhaps that is the real warning. Hawking's reminder wasn't about fearing the unknown, but about preparing for it. A magnetic reversal could be seen as nature's way of asking, how resilient are we, really? Could we adapt quickly enough? Could we safeguard the tools we've come to depend on? The truth is, survival in the face of such a shift wouldn't come from strength alone. It would come from foresight, planning, and unity. It's not the end of the world, but it could very well be a trial that defines the future of humanity. Backhand index pointing right transition. And as we stand under the same stars Hawking once urged us to admire, one question remains. Are we ready for the test? Humanity's choice. 
Most of us imagine Earth as steady, unchanging, a planet that keeps spinning under a sky we take for granted. But beneath this calm surface lies a force that has always been in motion, the magnetic field. If this shield truly is preparing for another great reversal, then we are standing at a crossroads unlike any our civilization has faced before. History shows us these flips are not accidents. They are part of Earth's rhythm, as natural as the tides or the changing seasons, only stretched out across vast scales of time. The last reversal happened hundreds of thousands of years ago, long before cities, satellites, or power grids existed. Our ancestors lived through it with little more than stone tools and fire. But today, the story would play out very differently. Scientists are clear. The shift itself cannot be stopped. It is written into the very heartbeat of our planet, driven by currents swirling deep within Earth's molten core. What can be shaped, however, is how humanity responds. Some researchers are optimistic, pointing out that with enough foresight, we could reinforce the fragile systems that keep our world running. Satellites could be hardened against radiation. Power grids could be shielded. Aircraft and navigation systems could be redesigned to withstand a shifting magnetic compass. In other words, survival is possible, but only if we act before the crisis arrives. And yet there is another perspective, one far more sobering. Many argue that our greatest weakness isn't technological at all, it's psychological. We ignore what we cannot see. We wait until the floodwaters rise before we build walls, until the fire spreads before we act. The magnetic field is invisible, silent, and patient, but its weakening signals are already here. To dismiss them would be to gamble with the very systems we depend on every day. This is the true test, not whether the planet will shift, but whether we will adapt in time. Stephen Hawking's warning echoes here. Survival belongs to those who prepare, those who think ahead, and those who stand together when change comes. The next reversal may not destroy humanity, but it will challenge us in ways we've never faced before. And when that day arrives, the real question won't be about Earth. It will be about us. Backhand index pointing right transition, which leaves us with the ultimate question. Are we prepared to shape our own future, or will we simply let it happen to us? The next magnetic shift is coming, maybe in 1,000 years, maybe sooner. The only certainty is that Earth will not wait for us to be ready. So the question isn't just when it will happen. The question is, will we be prepared? If you found this fascinating, make sure to subscribe to Deep Time Earth, where we uncover the hidden forces shaping our planet's past, present, and future.